Over a period of time, the ambit of cybercrime has grown. Mm. Today, cybercrime bring, brings within its ambit each and every aspect, not only pertaining to misuse on the internet, but cyberspace, but most significantly, uh, misuse of computers, computer systems, and communication devices. Mm. So it's a very big umbrella. A lot of components come under it, but basically any activity done with an illegal uh, design with a criminal intention to cause wrongful loss to somebody and wrongful gain to another person would qualify as cyber crimes. And now we come up with a fourth category. These are known as mobile crimes. Mm. These are crimes specifically being done uh, on the internet using communication devices. Okay. And clearly, it's a very evolving space. Mm. Things are continuing to evolve, but one fundamental reality is that cyber criminals are 10 steps ahead of law and law enforcement. Uh, the offenses do require constant relook, but beyond the substantive offenses, we have to look at the process of investigation as well as the underlying systematic problems in the Indian criminal justice system, which prolong trial, delay conviction, or sometimes just result in improper investigation resulting to acquittals. One of the main uh, sort of uh, nature of crime we do come, ac come across is uh, creation of uh, fake profiles in the social media. Hmm. And uh, by that, uh, you know, taking revenge, like uh, we call it like revenge pornography sometimes, mm -hmm. and then uh, sending harassing emails, and then uh, going for trollings in the social media. Mm -hmm. So the, basically the problem is that uh, when such uh, sorts of harassments or uh, crimes do happen in the social media, or even through uh, uh, cyberspace, or through some adult uh, social networking sites, uh, the victims, they do not want to come up for reporting. Mm. And once they do come up, if we counsel them uh, that uh, it's better that you should uh, see the police or the law and justice missionary, and they feel so uh, uh, afraid uh, for their privacy and for the society, and uh, that's how they don't uh, feel like going to the police. Cyber crime has a big pendulum. It's from a uh, war against the nation, as well as individuals are being targeted on that. It can be a financial uh, crime, it can be a stacking problem, and we in Bhatirita Party and the government are expecting that experts like them come forward, help us to identify what are the uh, causes of this and the remedies to this. Majority of the police officers have no clue of how to deal with a cybercrime complaint, how to investigate it and how to go forward collecting the relevant incriminating electronic evidence. The complaints made, for example, by women about stalking on the internet we still get a lot of informal reports of women who try to file a complaint and the, comp the police actually trying to resolve it in a different way, so never officially uh, filing the complaint. Um, so there is first of all the problem that many people won't go to the police, but even if they do, that is not necessarily reflected in the statistics depending on how the complaint is treated with. So it is likely to be unreported, yes. Now, if you even go to police, where the stalking which is occurring, uh, which is not online but is happening in person, yeah. often the police is looking at resolving these kind of offences by more informal uh, interactions. The second justification which is there for 66A, it is that it is there to protect um, women. Yeah. But you al already have provisions which are there for cyber stalking, yeah. for uh, outraging the modesty of women through words, for, uh, for even using uh, um, abusive language, which yeah. is section 294. Unfortunately, we in India have adopted the Bollywood approach. Yeah. The Bollywood of having a Bollywood film, which has got various masalas. So the IT Act is sim similar like a Bollywood film. It's got different masalas. It's time that we start looking in the direction of more specific, yeah. subject-specific legislations. Seven convictions in 19 years of a country of a billion plus is very pathetic statistics to tell you wow. the efficacy of this entire situation. And practically speaking, you can't blame the police. Mm. They're just not trained. So basically our work is to aware the students and the college students as well and the business holders as well. So we are awareing them like what exactly crimes are committing over the net and how to protect yourself and what to share over the net as well. Creating awareness, sensitizing them, empowering them at the school level is the first step forward as we go in the fight against cybercrime.